Football Manager 26 comes with more licensed leagues than ever before. That means there'll be new faces, logos and kits in the game. However, if you choose to manage in a league that is unlicensed, you're going to have to add those things yourself. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can add thousands of real logos to your game to enhance your FM26 experience. OK, the first thing you need to do is go to the description of this video. Once you're in the description, you will see a link. Click that link. It will bring you through to this website. This is TCM Logos. Now, with the release of FM26, a few things have changed graphically within the game. And it means that the old FM24 packs may not work in game. So TCM has come up with a workaround, which is the old 24 pack adapted for 26. When the full game is released, hopefully there will be a pack that is optimized for FM26. But for the purposes of this, we're going to show you using the old 24 pack that has been adapted. So once you're on the website, you are simply going to want to scroll down. About halfway down the page, you will see this box here. It says TCM 24 for FM26 Mega Pack download. Click on that link, another box will pop up, and you're going to click on Download Mega Pack. Once you click on that link, it will take you through to the mega website in the bottom right hand corner you'll have a green button that says download once you click the download button the bar is going to start to download once it is finished i'm going to show you what you do with it next okay once that has finished extracting you're going to see you now have two files in your download directory you have the original download and you have your extracted folder. The next thing to do is to locate Football Manager 26 on your computer. To do that, simply open up a new window and go to Documents, Sports Interactive, Football Manager 26. Now, at this point, I must point out I am on the Steam version of the game. and This will only work for the Steam version of the game. If you have Xbox Game Pass or Epic Games, there may be a different directory that you need to go to. So please look that but once you're in this folder, you're going to need a graphics folder. Simply create a new folder if one is not there already, and then go inside of that folder and create another folder that is simply called logos. The next thing to do is to go back to your download and simply drag the extracted folder across and into that logos folder. Once that's done, we'll jump into the game and show you what the logos look like in FM26. OK, I have now loaded up Football Manager 26. At this point, it is important to say if you are doing this process with the game open, you need to close the game down fully for these changes to take effect. It's slightly different from FM24. You need to close the game and reopen it to get the changes in game. So once you've done that and you're back on the portal screen, let's take a look at some of these logos. So starting off, we have Ajax. They are in the Eredivisie. If we go through a few other teams, you've got Telstar, you've got Sparta Rotterdam. You also can click on the Eredivisie and you can see we have the logo for the leagues. We can also search for teams. For example, Real Madrid, if we want to have a look at the Spanish teams. So we've got Real Madrid, we have Oviedo, we have Mallorca, we have Levante and Girona. And once again, if you want to take a look at the competitions, we have La Liga's logo, we have La Liga Hypermotion. And we have the Spanish Federation. So you can see that the logo pack is now successfully in game. So you can go on, and continue your managerial career using all of the real logos in the game. If you found this guide helpful, please don't forget to like today's video and subscribe to the channel.